Hi folks, China Guitar Skeptic back again in the workshop again today with another Partercaster build video and today we're going to fix on the Wilkinson Tremolo Bridge or Whammy Bar. Yeah, hi folks. Uh, as promised, back as quick as I can now that I'm back on my feet. And today we're going to attach, work out the um, the scale, length point, and mark out where uh, to attach the the uh, whammy bridge. Um, and I was asked a question actually um, on the previous video. Uh, that haven't I got it a little bit about face um, in terms of? Uh, painting the guitar before um, I do all the work on the body. No, I'd never normally do that. The only reason that I've painted, put the colour coat, first colour coat, or even a primer on this, is because everybody was really interested in choosing the colour. So I got that out of the way nice and early. Um, so no, normally I would do all of the body work required, all of this drilling, routing, um, and fixing things to the guitar, and any changes to the body work way before I prime and uh, and do the colour coat but to be fair I'm going to do another three or four colour coats in any case and also going to top that off with clear coat and show you the clear coat finishing work as well so it's not too much of a problem and also having a colour or a, or a base on the guitar does help with um, marking things out as well because it's pretty uniform rather than rubbed back as it would need to be before I did any other routing and stuff so, um, what we did last time was we, we threaded uh, a bit of orange string through and we, we briefly went over how to check the scale length. So, we'll do a re quick revision of that. Okay, so here we are again. I've got the orange string through the first and sixth slots in the nut and I've got just a, uh, a decent scale, steel scale rule and as I previously said, this works out at 12 and 3 quarter inches to the center of the 12th thread there, which means that the scale length is a standard Fender Strat scale length of 25 inches. So what I really want to do is position this bridge um, at the right place, which uh, Funny enough, it seems just about perfect where it is. Although I do feel that we could just come forward a little bit as we want to, there to be plenty of play to um, bring the bridge down for, for um, uh, pitch bending and uh, whammy bar work. So that wants to move around. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to get hold of the um, the posts and I'll show you what I'm going to do with those in a bit closer. Okay so here are the two bridge posts and um, as you can see this is where the trim will attach and so in order to mark these off I'm going to remove the bushings uh, which will also work out how to drill in later so I'm just going to remove the bushings for a moment like that and in order to mark these in the right position on the guitar I'm going to just set them on the top of the guitar upside down but in the right positions so that we can get this centered exactly where we want it so done all the measurements I've got those pretty much in place and now what I need to do is I need to oh, I need that to stay standing and I need to move these strings and get this whammy out of the way so that they're in the correct position so they're now ready to go and what we're going to do is we're just going to mark on the guitar the the center positions for those and then we're going to drill. 
Okay, so now as you'll see, I've got the uh, the positions marked, and now I'll take the uh, the pit guard off, and we'll get on with drilling these. Now I've taken the pit guard off, and what I've done also is I've just centre punched the, the positions of these holes, and I'm going to take one of the bushings to find out the size, and what I've done is I've worked out that this is a 10 mil bushing. So what we want to do is to drill eventually to a 9mm hole which leaves us half a mil all the way around um, for this bushing to sit snugly. It shouldn't just drop in, this should need some a little bit of hammering. But we're not going to go straight to a 9mm uh, a drill bit uh, because that would absolutely tear this to pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to build up to the 9mm by drilling various different um, different uh, widths of drill and we're going to start right the way down with a 2mm bit we're then going to work our way up to a 4mm bit then we're going to work our way up to a 6mm bit and then from the 6mm bit we're going to go to the 9mm bit and then that way we can we can make sure that uh, we we very precise about our holes. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out the depth on these, each individual one, with a bit of tape around the end to give us the correct depth to drill down. So we'll do that, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So now what you'll see is that each of these drill bits has been marked off with tape to show the correct depth and that's as far as we need to drill just to get this down. Now this is also somewhere where if you've got access to one it's definitely definitely preferable to have a, a pillar drill because you want to go completely vertically down at this. These don't want to be sitting in on an angle uh, because they'll put the measurements of the bridge out. So um, I'm going to have to drill it by hand because I don't have access to a drill press. But if you do, please use a drill press at this point to get this completely perpendicular with the body. Okay, let's drill. Always let the drill do the work as well. Don't need to put any force on this. Just let the drill cut as it leads to. Moving up to the next size. another point at which we'll notice bits of the paint chipping away but we can do something about that and I'll show you okay and here's the answer a couple of bits of masking tape over these holes we'll just hold it together enough when drilling that you shouldn't rip the paint surface um, so I'll just quickly put that drill size, same size, back through these to break the paper. And then we'll go up to the uh, next two sizes.
as you see that didn't really want to bite very much got to get the speed up before you go in so let's try that here And that, as they say, is that. We're now at the position where we can take these off. A bit of chipping around that. That one's not too bad. This one will need a little bit of tidying up. But hopefully, these will take some pushing into there. Yep, yeah, we're going to need to uh, make sure that we give these a good tap home. Yeah, that's much more snug. And then these can just be tapped home into the body like so making sure to keep them as straight and upright as we can and where at all possible use a spare piece of timber over the top to tap them home with we're going in there that's good Excellent, and we're getting there. And we'll put both of these into the body. And they want to be good and snug. They don't want to be so tight that they crack the paintwork around them. But as you can hear, these are taking some tapping in. Okay, so these are now knocked in to the body. I have got a slight little crack there actually but we'll rub that down and make sure that that's gone. We'll leave this, these just sitting just a trifle proud. The, um, so we'll need to sit up and then we'll pop our bridge back on and pull these tight through the first and sixth and I can uh, hold that with one hand and move the camera with the other you'll see that our string positions are exactly where we want them which is just right and I will also now double check although it's a bit late for that but as long as we've got enough movement on the saddles, then this will be able to be intonated absolutely fine. But the main thing is that the strings are sat where they need to be on the neck. So next thing is to turn the guitar over and uh, fix the springs. So we'll do that next. Right, now thankfully there are already a couple of holes that were drilled there before um, for a previous trim. Um, so I'm just going to use those and get these screwed in just as a guide. It's all going to come off again so that we can do our painting and refinishing. But if this didn't already have pre-drilled um, holes here, uh, it, again, like the bolt on the neck, you want to get a... Um, a drill bit which is just a bit narrower than the inside of the thread so that is to say don't include the threads um, but include the shaft beneath the threads of the screw and the drill bit wants to be just a bit narrower than that just so that the the body of the screw also widens the hole not just the thread going in. This actually is pretty tight so I'm pretty pleased with with this and we've got the springs which go in the back here and these will attach to the trim and actually where I've got that might just about be enough tension. So we'll do that just uh, quickly pop the the bridge, turn the guitar back over, pop the bridge back into place 
and we'll have no string tension against this we have to remember all we've got at the moment is um, this bit of string sitting through and usually I'm just about strong enough to do this by hand I like to go on the outside two first there we go and then the inside one just to that center okay and that is our oh hello sausages whoops haven't quite got this first spring home there we go that's it and we can go back on the front and make sure it's sitting on its blocks and there we are that is the Wilkinson trim now attached and you can see my guide at the back is exactly where I wanted it um, it's got enough to pull up um, and if I can show you using the screwdriver if it, no, it's not small enough in that hole I need to actually find the trim bar hold on there we go it's the push in trim and you'll see there's enough movement to take that right the way down past the floating point. So that's our trim set up on, on this parter caster. So the next stage will be to remove all this trim again, take the neck off um, and we're going to rub back the body again. In fact this can come off now. I'm going to need to degrease all of the paintwork where I've had various bits of tape and masking tape and glue all over this so I'm going to degrease and then also rub it back again so that we are um, getting a really nice finish on the paint then once the paint works done I've just ordered the screws for the pit guard um, which I'm also considering see what you see what you think let me know in the comments below what I'm thinking of doing is to just spray the tips of the screw heads for the scratch plate the same colour as the body but I don't know what you think of that let me know in the comments below okay right okay I know a lot of people would have had their concerns about how this pit guard uh, would be affected by the uh, the Wilkinson trim but as you can see here actually it's absolutely perfect position for this trim uh, the pit guard is going to go on there absolutely fine and it's gonna leave plenty of space for the uh, for the pit guard to sit just in front of it it sits there just a little bit too perfectly for my liking so anyway let me know in the comments what you think so far we're getting there I've got a little bit of a trick to show you next video on what we do to fill out although this nut is probably eventually going to be replaced um, just to get this guitar up and running I am going to uh, do a fill on the low E string slot but it's coming on hopefully you're getting to see starting to see now what this guitar will end up looking like once it's all put together so exciting times thanks so much for watching folks Take care and wishing you lots of great rocking.